Copernicium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol CN and atomic number 112. It is an extremely radioactive element, and can only be created in a laboratory. The most stable known isotope, Copernicium-285, has a half-life of approximately 29 seconds. Copernicium was first created in 1996 by the GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research near Darmstadt, Germany. It is named after the astronomer Nicolaus Copernicus. In the periodic table of the elements, Copernicium is a d-block transactinide element and a group 12 element. During reactions with gold, it has been shown to be an extremely volatile metal, so much so that it is probably a gas at standard temperature and pressure. Copernicium is calculated to have several properties that differ from its lighter homologues in group 12, zinc, cadmium and mercury. Due to relativistic effects, it may even give up its 6d electrons instead of its 7s ones. Copernicium has also been calculated to possibly show the oxidation state plus 4, while mercury shows it in only one compound of disputed existence and zinc and cadmium do not show it at all. It has also been predicted to be more difficult to oxidize Copernicium from its neutral state than the other group 12 elements. History Topic. Discovery Copernicium was first created on February 9, 1996, at the Gesellschaft für Schwerenenverschung (GSI) in Darmstadt, Germany, by Sigurd Hoffmann, Viktor Ninov et al. This element was created by firing accelerated zinc-70 nuclei at a target made of lead-208 nuclei in a heavy ion accelerator. A single atom a second was reported but was found to have been based on data fabricated by Ninov of Copernicium was produced with a mass number of 277. 20,882 peta bits plus 7,030 ZN 278,112 CN asterisk 277,112 CN plus 10 NIN May 2000, the GSI successfully repeated the experiment to synthesize a further atom of Copernicium 277. This reaction was repeated at Riken using the search for a super-heavy element using a gas-filled recoil separator setup in 2004 and 2013 to synthesize three further atoms and confirm the decay data reported by the GSI team. This reaction had also previously been tried in 1971 at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia to aim for 276 CN produced in the 2N channel, but without success. The IUPAC, IUPAP Joint Working Party JWP assessed the claim of Copernicium's discovery by the GSI team in 2001 and 2003. In both cases, they found that there was insufficient evidence to support their claim. This was primarily related to the contradicting decay data for the known nuclide Rutherfordium-261. However, between 2001 and 2005, the GSI team studied the reaction 248cm 26 megagrams, 5n 269hs, and were able to confirm the decay data for Hassium-269 and Rutherfordium-261. It was found that the existing data on Rutherfordium-261 was for an isomer, now designated Rutherfordium-261 m. In May 2009, the JWP reported on the claims of discovery of element 112 again and officially recognized the GSI team as the discoverers of element 112. This decision was based on the confirmation of the decay properties of daughter nuclei as well as the confirmatory experiments at Riken. Work had also been done at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia from 1998 to synthesize the heavier isotope 283CN in the hot fusion reaction 238U, 48CA, 3N, 283CN. Most observed atoms of 283CN decayed by spontaneous fission, although an alpha decay branch to 279 Ds was detected. While initial experiments aimed to assign the produced nuclide with its observed long half-life of three minutes based on its chemical behavior, this was found to be not mercury-like as would have been expected Copernicium being under mercury in the periodic table, and indeed now it appears that the long-lived activity might not have been from 283 CN at all, but its electron capture daughter 283 RG instead, with a shorter four-second half-life associated with 283 CN. Another possibility is assignment to a metastable 
unstable isomeric state, 283 mcn, while later cross bombardments in the 242 Pu plus 48 Ca and 245 Cm plus 48 Ca reactions succeeded in confirming the properties of 283 Corporation and its parents 287 Florida and 291 LV, and played a major role in the acceptance of the discoveries of fluorovium and livermorium elements 114 and 116 by the JWP in 2011. This work originated subsequent to the GSI's work on 277 CN and priority was assigned to the GSI. Topic: Naming Using Mendeleev's nomenclature for unnamed and undiscovered elements, Copernicium should be known as Aca Mercury. In 1979, IUPAC published recommendations according to which the element was to be called Ununbium with the corresponding symbol of UUB, a systematic element name as a placeholder, until the element was discovered and the discovery then confirmed and a permanent name was decided on. Although widely used in the chemical community on all levels, from chemistry classrooms to advanced textbooks, the recommendations were mostly ignored among scientists in the field, who either called it element 112, with the symbol of E112, 112, 112, or even simply 112. After acknowledging the GSI team's discovery, the IUPAC asked them to suggest a permanent name for element 112. On 14 July 2009, they proposed Copernicium with the element symbol CP, after Nicolaus Copernicus, to honor an outstanding scientist, who changed our view of the world. During the standard six-month discussion period among the scientific community about the naming, it was pointed out that the symbol CP was previously associated with the name Cassiopium, Cassiopium now known as Lutetium Lu. For this reason, the IUPAC disallowed the use of CP as a future symbol, prompting the GSI team to put forward the symbol CN as an alternative. On 19 February 2010, the 537th anniversary of Copernicus' birth, IUPAC officially accepted the proposed name and symbol. Isotopes <inaudible> 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 Copernicium has no stable or naturally occurring isotopes. Several radioactive isotopes have been synthesized in the laboratory, either by fusing two atoms or by observing the decay of heavier elements. Seven different isotopes have been reported with atomic masses from 281 to 286, and 277. Most of these decay predominantly through alpha decay, but some undergo spontaneous fission, and Copernicium 283 may have an electron capture branch. The isotope Copernicium 283 was instrumental in the confirmation of the discoveries of the elements fluorovium and livermorium. Half lives All Copernicium isotopes are extremely unstable and radioactive. In general, heavier isotopes are more stable than the lighter. The most stable known isotope, 285 Cn, has a half life of 29 seconds, 283 Cn has a half life of 4 seconds, and the unconfirmed 286 Cn has a half life of about 8.45 seconds. Other isotopes have half lives shorter than 0.1 seconds. 281 CN and 284 CN both have half-lives of 97 milliseconds, and the other two isotopes have half-lives slightly under 1 millisecond. It is predicted that the heavy isotopes 291 CN and 293 CN may have half-lives longer than a few decades, and may have been produced in the R process and be detectable in cosmic rays, though they would be about 10-12 times as abundant as lead. The lightest isotopes of Copernicium have been synthesized by direct fusion between two lighter nuclei and as decay products except for 277 CN, which is not known to be a decay product, while the heavier isotopes are only known to be produced by decay of heavier nuclei. The heaviest isotope produced by direct fusion is 283 Cn. The three heavier isotopes, 284 Cn, 285 Cn, and 286 Cn, have only been observed as decay products of elements with larger atomic numbers. In 1999, American scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, announced that they had succeeded in synthesizing three atoms of 293 Og. 
These parent nuclei were reported to have successively emitted three alpha particles to form Copernicium-281 nuclei, which were claimed to have undergone alpha decay, emitting alpha particles with decay energy 10.68 MeV and half-life 0.90 milliseconds, but their claim was retracted in 2001. This isotope, however, was produced in 2010 by the same team. The new data contradicted the previous fabricated data. Topic. Predicted properties Topic. Chemical Copernicium is the tenth and last member of the 6D series and is the heaviest group 12 element in the periodic table, below zinc, cadmium and mercury. It is predicted to differ significantly from the lighter group 12 elements. The valence S subshells of the group 12 elements and period 7 elements are expected to be relativistically contracted most strongly at Copernicium. This and the closed shell configuration of Copernicium result in it probably being a very noble metal. Its metallic bonds should also be very weak, possibly making it extremely volatile, like the noble gases, and potentially making it gaseous at room temperature. However, it should be able to form metal-metal bonds with copper, palladium, platinum, silver, and gold. These bonds are predicted to be only about 15 to 20 kJ per mole weaker than the analogous bonds with mercury. Once copernicium is ionized, its chemistry may present several differences from those of zinc, cadmium, and mercury. Due to the stabilization of 7's electronic orbitals and destabilization of 6d1's caused by relativistic effects, CN2 plus is likely to have a RN 5f146 d87's 2 electronic configuration, using the 6d orbitals before the 7's 1, unlike its homologues. The fact that the 6d electrons participate more readily in chemical bonding means that once copernicium is ionized, it may behave more like a transition metal than its lighter homologues, especially in the possible plus 4 oxidation state. In aqueous solutions, copernicium may form the plus 2 and perhaps plus 4 oxidation states. The diatomic ion Hg2 plus 2, featuring mercury in the plus 1 oxidation state, is well known, but the Cn2 plus 2 ion is predicted to be unstable or even non-existent. Copernicium fluoride, CnF2, should be more unstable than the analogous mercury compound, mercury fluoride, mercury 2 fluoride, and may even decompose spontaneously into its constituent elements. In polar solvents, copernicium is predicted to preferentially form the CnF-5 and CnF-3 anions rather than the analogous neutral fluorides CnF4 and CnF2, respectively, although the analogous bromide or iodide ions may be more stable towards hydrolysis in aqueous solution. The anions CnCl2-4 and CnBr2-4 should also be able to exist in aqueous solution. Nevertheless, more recent experiments have cast doubt on the possible existence of mercury-4 fluoride, and indeed some calculations suggest that both mercury-4 fluoride and CnF4 are actually unbound and of doubtful existence. Analogous to mercury cyanide mercury-2 cyanide, copernicium is expected to form a stable cyanide, Cn-2. Cn Physical and atomic Copernicium should be a very heavy metal with a density of around 23.7 g per cc in the solid state. In comparison, the most dense known element that has had its density measured, osmium, has a density of only 22.61 g per cc. This results from Copernicium's high atomic weight, the lanthanide and actinide contractions, and relativistic effects, although production of enough Copernicium to measure this quantity would be impractical, and the sample would quickly decay. However, some calculations predict copernicium to be a gas at room temperature, the first gaseous metal in the periodic table the second being fluorovium, aca lead, due to the closed shell electron configurations of copernicium and fluorovium. The atomic radius of copernicium is expected to be around 147 pm. 
Due to the relativistic stabilization of the 7's orbital and destabilization of the 6d orbital, the Cn plus and Cn2 plus ions are predicted to give up 6d electrons instead of 7's electrons, which is the opposite of the behavior of its lighter homologues. In addition to the relativistic contraction and binding of the 7's subshell, the 6d5 halves orbital is expected to be destabilized due to spin orbit coupling, making it behave similarly to the 7's orbital in terms of size, shape, and energy. Calculations in 2007 expected that copernicium may therefore be a semiconductor with a band gap of around 0.2 electron volts, crystallizing in the hexagonal close-packed crystal structure. However, calculations in 2017 and 2018 suggested that copernicium should be a noble metal at standard conditions with a body-centered cubic crystal structure, it should hence have no band gap, like mercury, although the density of states at the Fermi level is expected to be lower for copernicium than for mercury. Like mercury, radon, and fluorovium, but not oganesson radon, copernicium is calculated to have no electron affinity. <laughs> Experimental atomic gas phase chemistry Interest in Copernicium's chemistry was sparked by predictions that it would have the largest relativistic effects in the whole of period 7 and group 12, and indeed among all 118 known elements. Copernicium is expected to have the ground state electron configuration 5F146D107s2 and thus should belong to group 12 of the periodic table, according to the Aufbau principle. As such, it should behave as the heavier homologue of mercury and form strong binary compounds with noble metals like gold. Experiments probing the reactivity of copernicium have focused on the adsorption of atoms of element 112 onto a gold surface held at varying temperatures, in order to calculate an adsorption enthalpy. Owing to relativistic stabilization of the 7's electrons, copernicium shows radon-like properties. Experiments were performed with the simultaneous formation of mercury and radon radioisotopes, allowing a comparison of adsorption characteristics. The first chemical experiments on copernicium were conducted using the 238U 48Ca 3N 283Cn reaction. Detection was by spontaneous fission of the claimed parent isotope with half-life of 5 minutes. Analysis of the data indicated that copernicium was more volatile than mercury and had noble gas properties. However, the confusion regarding the synthesis of copernicium-283 has cast some doubt on these experimental results. Given this uncertainty, between April to May 2006 at the JINR, a FLNR Psi team conducted experiments probing the synthesis of this isotope as a daughter in the nuclear reaction 242 Pu 48 Ca 3 N 287 Florida. The 242 Pu plus 48 Ca fusion reaction has a slightly larger cross section than the 238 U plus 48 Ca reaction, so that the best way to produce copernicium for chemical experimentation is as an overshoot product as the daughter of fluorovium. In this experiment, two atoms of copernicium 283 were unambiguously identified, and the adsorption properties indicated that copernicium is a more volatile homologue of mercury, due to formation of a weak metal metal bond with gold, placing it firmly in group 12. This agrees with general indications from relativistic calculations that copernicium is more or less. Homologous to mercury, in April 2007, this experiment was repeated and a further three atoms of copernicium-283 were positively identified. The adsorption property was confirmed and indicated that copernicium has adsorption properties completely in agreement with being the heaviest member of group 12. These experiments also allowed the first experimental estimation of copernicium's boiling point, 84 plus 112 minus 108 degrees Celsius, so that it may be a gas at standard conditions. Because the lighter group 12 elements often occur as chalcogenide ores, experiments were conducted in 2015 to attempt to deposit copernicium atoms on a selenium surface to form copernicium selenide, CNSE. Reaction of copernicium atoms with trigonal selenium to form a selenide were observed, with delta had Cn T say greater than 48 kJ per mole, with the kinetic hindrance towards selenide formation being lower for copernicium than for mercury. This was unexpected as the stability of the group 12 selenides tends to decrease down the group from zinc selenide to mercury 2 selenide, while it increases down the group for the group 14 selenides from germanium selenide to lead 2 selenide. Uh, 
Topic See also Island of Stability